I'm jolted from sleep at an hour that seems far too early for any sane Westerner. As I stare fuzzy-eyed at the clock, I can see it's only 4am, but it's time to get up. Barely 30 minutes later, I arrive at a small Balinese shack with a group of six Kiwi women who have accepted the challenge of raising $10,000. It's for a tier fund trust bank aimed at giving poor rubbish collectors business loans and training, which in turn will give them better income earning opportunities. The women I'm with are from a business group called Women for Women, and they want to travel and work with the rubbish collectors to experience daily life from their perspective. As we roll through the streets, the dawn begins to bleed daylight. The reason for the early start is to get the advantage over other rubbish collectors. It's a chance to get the choicest items, such as bottles. But first we have to dig through mountains of disgusting, often smelly, non-recyclable rubbish that litters the streets. The rubbish collectors live a life of mere subsistence, feeding their families on meagre earnings, equivalent to about four New Zealand dollars a day. A member of our group, Rachel, who's a fine food rep from East Auckland, identifies with Suka C, similar in age but living such an incredibly different life. It's one of those, why me God, why am I so lucky moments for Rachel as she pushes her cart. The group of rubbish collectors is supported through a tier fund partner in Bali, Denari. In addition to loaning the money from the trust bank, Denari offers the group financial and business advice. The loans will enable them to improve their carts, repair them, and also to buy recyclable rubbish and on-sell it. The women feel empowered as a group and hope that with better incomes, they can give their children a good education. From Denpasar in Bali, I'm Susanna Burton.